Hello everyone, it is I, Bubs, back with more Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Last time we technically finished the game. We didn't beat it, we finished it. Because it would appear that there is a... There is something more to the story, and I'm guessing you can't see the true ending unless you finish a run with all four key fragments. Plus, I don't consider this game over until I at least unlock all the relics and get all the all 13 characters. Now, I kind of want to do Black Knight again because of his ability, but at the same time, I also want to do Spectre more because I like his playstyle the most and he's my favorite character. I'll go with Spectre Knight. Like, potentially he could be the best character if you have a lot of damage increasing relics. That way he like gets an instant kill almost easily. Oh. I also discovered while playing a sim song that potion chains will do a maximum of three damage to him. Oh. So if I have a chain of like five potions, it's only gonna deal three damage instead of five, so that's nice. So I do gotta watch out for that. Alright, plane's complete, and I guess the Chester shop only appears in five more keep and onward. Here we go. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Plus one damage every fifth hit. Immune to electric damage. I also get a supercharged attack every ten steps. Or potions do not change. What do you think, Song? Considering potions on their own only do one damage, it kind of depends on how you want to play. It might be a little scary having a bunch of individual potions, because when you chain a lot, let's say there's nine of them for some reason, it's only three damage instead of nine individual damage, you know? Yeah, and also each potion deals two damage, not one. An individual will deal two damage, not one. With Spectre, I think the best way to build around his playstyle would be upping your damage as fast as possible along with your health. Resistance would also help, but I don't know if you need it that soon. This is Pride More Keep, so on the next level I'm pretty sure we'll, I'll encounter those electric frogs. Yeah. And if I move 10 steps I get one temporary charge attack, which will do like plus one damage. But same thing, five string will give me like an extra, a more powerful attack every after on every fifth hit. Yeah, I'd say it's between the middle or the one on the right for me. I'm not sure. If you have I think more I'll... health, I would go with the other item. But right now, it's kind of spooky. I'll go with the middle 
because with the frogs I can time my attacks, but with the with, with the robotic wrath, that one's gonna be a bit more tricky to handle. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do There we go. Ooh, all these keys. Let's see, X plus one damage, plus one damage. Let's go with this one. That way I stack it. Oh my god, what? That was well, so that was a shame. <laughs> you had like 40 durability and I just watched it vanish. Oh no. I miscalculated. <laughs> that was the fastest diminish I have ever witnessed in a game. He's down now at least. Yes. And I have enough keys for the first shrine. I would try and grab that key if you can, just as a bonus. Yes. Yeah. Wait, 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 you have 6,000. You could buy the other damage boost. Price actually increases oh. after each rock you purchase. But I could get it, I'll get it. I could definitely yeah. help you because of the resistance and the damage increase. Yeah, and I've got four keys, so I have enough to unlock the next drop chest and two for the first shrine. Nice. Oh, King Knight, Ah oh, man. I already have King Knight, so it's not a new character to try to unlock. There it is. Oh yeah, I see what you mean now. It's like a purple sparkle instead of a red sparkle. All right. Let's see. Fewer slain foes required to see the exit. Extra damage to all block. Uh, on the one hand, I could escape levels faster since there's less enemies I'm required to kill. But on the other hand, I would destroy blocks faster. Both of them are very good. I think I'll go with the mentor manual. Cause the blocks I can handle. Yeah. But since I haven't found any health upgrades yet, it's better to try and get through the levels as quickly as possible. Yeah. Especially in this one. This is the lich yard. You do have shock resist. That's right. I am um, forgot about that actually. Oh boy. Let's see, that's gonna deal three damage to me, so I should go with this one. I don't have to worry about the keys anymore. Oh okay. Plus three damage. the power. Oh. Uh, let's go with that. Alright, let's go here. Oh, not enough money to get anything yet. I do feel like that lone extra damage to lone enemies will be very useful for Spectre Knight though. Is that enough? Nope, not enough. I'm to escape. There we go. There we go, King Knight.
you do have those beetles as a health reserve. Yeah. Okay, and if I just charge this up, this should do massive damage. Got him. Felt like four damage. One more charge. Electric attacks. We can deal. There we go. Got him. Magic Land Phil. I honestly do not recognize this map. It wasn't a previous Shovel Knight games, but I think judging by the music, I think maybe this has to be like the fill in for Plague Knight since he doesn't have the Alchemist lab in this so far. Meal ticket plus 2 HP. Premium meal ticket plus 3 HP. You can practically almost get the premium. <laughs> yeah, better save up. Uh. Well. Oh, the rat, the bomb rats count as enemies. So I can regain health from them. All those, it's those really strong enemies. Okay. There we go, premium meal ticket. Here we go. The premium meal ticket was definitely a good call. Yes, it was. Along with electric sock and then the harp with uh, extra damage on every fifth hit. Yeah. Oh boy. Definitely gotta clear out all these enemies since I also get a team if the board gets full. Ooh! I think this might come in handy. Plus one damage on first strike, so I would pretty much annihilate two health enemies. What's the foot? Fatal blows recover two HP at low health. That could be really good as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't have enough for it though since I got the dagger to give. Yeah. So that plus the super shard attack will kill three health enemies then. Pretty good. With the damage increase from the sock and the other one, it should yeah. be even more also. Yeah.
plus one, plus three. That's obvious which one I'm keeping. Oh, the portal. Ah, uh, well, it was a red color, so it was just like a challenge. Could have been. At least it wasn't money. a shrine. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm a Tinker Knight again. But I imagine I'm gonna have to do a bit of grinding in this game to try and encounter like new characters I haven't unlocked yet. Oh yeah, your damage is really good right now. <laughs> it's such a good damage amount with the item, the consumable. Yeah. It wore off though. It is nice to not have to run the blorb still, because before the only way to regain health on weak enemies, when I'm at 1 HP with the blorbs, but now it's also the beetle, the beetos. In here. Let's see, revive after defeat once, hover over hazards, leaves a fire trail. I'm what do you think, Song? I'm thinking either the right or the left. Uh you're moving around a lot, so the fire trail could be good, but definitely the hazards will become an issue later on. So Yeah. It's between those two. I'll go with the hazard one then. <laughs> because the fire blorbs will be a pain in the neck. Oh yeah. no. Uh, Supercharge attack. Uh. <laughs> Got Dicey going to the door. <laughs> oh my God. Stop, get out. Wait, does that mean the bus saw attacks from Tinker and I won't even hurt me anymore? Interesting. Did it count as hazards? I like how the carrot is actually floating in the air. Yeah, bus cells do not affect me. That makes this boss fight way more easier. Got him. Wait a minute. I don't think I went to the second shrine. Damn it, I missed the second shrine. I can't get a true ending if I complete this run as Spectre Knight. That's a big rip. You could get a golden skin. <laughs> true. Compensation and maybe I'll get award. A, yeah, maybe I'll get a true ending with another character. I feel like Black Knight will be a bit easier, provided I get health upgrades. Yeah. Then so I could just keep stacking and stacking my attack up. Oh no. Well...
Clear the floor. There we go. Ah, uh, not enough. Rip. Trying to chip. Interesting. You could probably float over those. Yep. And over the ice as well. Really, really handy. Well, let's start with the electric sock. If I just complete a chain that consists of two and ten enemies or more, I recover all my health in an instant. It's HP. I have less HP now. And I gotta make sure not to spend too much gems on this level. Uh, I think I'll save up just in case the next, just in case, because there aren't any relics that I really feel are worth buying when the next level will have the shrine. Here we go. Hey, Sly, I wasn't paying attention to who was on the overworld map. Do you know who, who I'm fighting? Propeller. Propeller? Oh, cool. At he was I like my was. <laughs> All right. I was oh. looking at the rats. <laughs> oh. More gems from chains or plus one damage to undead. Plus ten chains recover all health. Let's go with this one. I, I knew it was a different one that gave all health on 10 chains. Yeah, Unless I guess the so. sock does that, but I, I'm pretty sure the sock doesn't. Yeah, I think it's just like, it means electricity and then a charge, uh, charge attack. Yeah. But I got the third shrine, I won't get the fourth one, but at least now I can just go ahead and buy more relics with my gems. I don't have much to worry about right now. This whole map is very speedy. It does make it easier with all the enemies being pretty soft. Okay, I have two choices, Song. A second meal ticket for plus two HP, or plus one damage to lone foes, which also works on bosses. Let's see far right. Oh, slows the gem mirror depletion and slain both oh. ground more gem mirror. That'd be better um, for Black Knight, honestly. Uh, yeah. So either more health or, or more damage against bosses and single enemies. So more damage or more health. 
Hmm. I will not have enough to buy both of them before the level ends, so I have to choose one of them. I always go with survivability, so I always lean towards health, but damage increase is also really good. It's honestly up to you. Ah, maybe damage. Damage could be really good. I suspect that like, he already has like more health than he started with. Yeah. And then like the fact that I can kill like all more enemies along with my other damage increasers. Yeah. Plus he'll kill bosses more quickly since he does extra damage to them since they're uh, they're lone foes. Oh my god, it is Propeller Knight. I am definitely gonna watch him out because I think he was my second favorite character in the series. Oh ho ho ho! A duel with me, why well, I'd love to. In fact, I insist on guard. Propeller Knight. The spin controller. Oh. This hazard. Okay, the air does blow me away. The ha air hazard does affect me. Well, I guess the cannons don't. Aha! Yep, I'm glad I chose that glove for exchange against lone foes. Alright, I got Propeller Knight. And now we're on the final level. Oh wow, the second meal ticket. If I get enough gems, I might I might be able to get enough gems to get it, but I'm not but I, I'm not having high hopes. Alright. Okay, this is a pretty solid setup for Spectre Knight. I think it's a growth gem, so if I give it time, it'll become. it'll give me more gems. I think that's its max form. The pink? Yeah, it is a max form. Getting a little dicey, I'd grab item and leave. Ah, uh, not enough, rip. Actually, wait, no, there's a challenge room. Oh. <laughs> the sound of disappointment. <laughs> I'll just go with the extra damage. Alright, here we go. Oh, I almost went for the potion, but then I remembered. That's why I need to attack these little slimes to get help. Oh, 
Oh boy, he's not happy with me right now. I do like how the boss attacks do not like his attacks do not hurt the enemies. Pretty useful. Ugh, okay. Ugh. I feel this game would be unimaginably difficult if I selected single stock mode. Got him. You skipped everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the same. True, true. Except for the last part. Except for the part where it actually shows the character. That's pretty funny. Knight has been unlocked. I think I have to go here, change into the gold skin. Ooh, shiny. There's a little metal in the top left. Oh, I think that's the icon for completing a normal run. Oh. Because that's also appeared on Shield Knight, but not the other characters. Swap so maybe the, the metal. Skins? Alright. Oh, it does stay. Okay, cool. Yeah, and maybe if you complete like a true run with the key fragments, maybe the metal will be. Maybe it's the second metal or just the same metal but a different color. Cool. Oh! Find more bombs plus bomb resistance. <laughs> I'm unlocking that. Plus one damage and max gem meter. That'd Your be next good chain for Black Knight. Yeah. But the thing is, it happens while the gem meter is maxed out. Black Knight, you use the, you spend the gem meter to pop your attack. So that would not work with him if you use his ability when it's at maximum. True. But it'll be good for someone else. Like Spectre Knight, if I buff up his attack a lot, then he will instant kill enemies. Brilliant, man. Plus one attack for each lone foe defeated. Chains, reset your attack, and deal you one more damage. He sounds like he could potentially be a very OP character. How are we doing on time? Uh, over. <laughs> okay. All well, on this episode here. Well, anyways, that was another episode of Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Next time, we're going to be continuing. The goal is to try and complete all four shrines, but also try and get the other characters too. Because I think unlocking them also unlocks them in versus mode too. Anything to add, Song? Shrines. Yeah. Why don't we see you all next time?